My dear brothers and sisters, even if you forget what we just heard in the first reading or in the gospel, the response to the psalm today best sums up what my reflection is all about. Try to imitate God as children of His that He loves. And our opening lines today of our first reading, be friends with one another and kind forgiving each other as readily as God forgave you in Christ. To be kind, that is the attitude that Jesus invites each one of us to. An attitude that Jesus not only preached about, but one that he practiced in his three years of public ministry. Always being compassionate towards others, always reaching out towards others with love, with affection and with forgiveness. Here was a woman bent doubly over, bound up as it was, so feeble that she was for 18 years. And here comes Jesus healing her of this infirmity and making her well again. The first thing that she does is to glorify God. The true joy and happiness that she would have been experiencing at that moment, being freed of an infirmity, gave her every reason to glorify God. Every one of us should have rejoiced at that moment. Every person in the synagogue should have joined in her glorification of God. But yet we have these hypocrites, the Pharisees, who will continue to criticize Jesus because he did good on a Sabbath, which according to them was the law. Any work on the Sabbath was forbidden. They couldn't look beyond the law, my dear brothers and sisters. And for Jesus, he always respected the law, but he would teach people to go by the spirit of the law. The law is essential for discipline, but one needs to look beyond that when it comes to reaching out to people in kindness, in love and in affection. I pray that each one of us, my dear brothers and sisters, as our response to the reading today clearly says, try to imitate God as children of His that He loves. If you and I have truly experienced God's love in our lives, we have nothing else but to share this love with those around us, especially the less fortunate. God bless and do have a Jesus-filled day.